it is universal law that all vessels must travel at a safe speed at all times. A safe speed is one at which the vessel can be stopped in time to avoid any danger which may suddenly arise. All Australian states have speed limits for boats, personal watercraft and water skiers in certain times and areas. The speeds and distances vary from state to state, so you should learn them from your local safety handbook or boating guide. When approaching swimmers or bathers, there are strict speed limits and minimum distances that you must obey. If you're travelling at more than four or five knots, which is a fast walking pace, you must keep well away from anyone in the water, at least 30 metres, and 50 metres in some states. You are not allowed to speed close to another vessel unless engaged in competition or bona fide training authorised within the rules of the state or a nationally recognised water sporting organisation. You must obey the local speed regulation and stay well clear when near a vessel or buoy displaying the white and blue diver below flag corresponding to the international code flag A. To protect bathers, to avoid other vessels and to reduce the risk of collision with submerged objects in shallow water, there are strict speed limits near the water's edge. And speed restrictions apply close to fixed or floating structures including jetties, wharves, diving platforms, ramps, slipways and navigation aids. You must navigate slowly and safely through recognised mooring areas and boats at anchor. Details of speed restrictions and local operating rules are generally displayed on signs on the shore or marked by buoys or beacons on the water. No wash zones are where a vessel must proceed at a speed which creates minimal wash. It is important that you remember the rules relating to speed limits before you go to sea. It is wise to re-read your boating guide from time to time so that you don't forget. At sea, the rules of the road are just as important as they are on the land. It is essential that all operators know them if accidents are to be avoided. As skipper, you must continually assess the risk of collision with other boats. You must keep a good lookout through both sight and sound at all times. Be extra aware in bad weather and at night. The give way rules for boats under power are universal and are detailed in every state's boating guide or safety handbook. Other than special rules for narrow channels and commercial shipping, power gives way to sail. You must give way to all rowing boats. You must give way to all boats approaching from your starboard or right hand side. When two vessels are approaching head on, each must alter course to the starboard or right hand side so as to pass on the port or left hand side of each other. When overtaking another vessel, you must keep clear even if the other vessel changes course. You must keep clear of vessels fishing and vessels with restricted maneuverability and vessels not under command. In rivers and channels, all vessels must be navigated on the starboard side of the river or channel. Keep to the right is the golden rule. It is important that you learn and obey these regulations for preventing collisions at sea. But remember, just as on the road, there is no substitute for care, courtesy and common sense. Large vessels use their whistles or horns to alert others of their intentions or of a potential danger and also to advise others that they are unsure of whether they are taking sufficient precautions to avoid a collision. There is a wide range of signals which you will find in your safety handbook. It is important that you know what the following four sound signals, whether they are one, two or more short blasts mean if you are to keep out of trouble. One blast of about a second means I'm altering my course to starboard or to my right. Two short blasts means I'm altering my course to port or to my left. Three blasts means I am operating my engine astern. The vessel will either be stopping or reversing. And five short blasts will alert you that the other vessel is unsure of your intentions. Quickly make your intentions known.